Everybody deserves to be loved. Whether you are a good person or a bad person, everybody deserves to be loved. Sometimes I just wonder, girl, what are you still doing there? Like, it's not enough for him not to take care of you. It's not enough for him not to care about you. He's still beating you. He's still treating you wrongly. Abusive relationship. And you are still there. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in you're welcome back again if you're a returning subscriber i love you and i cherish you so much and if you are a new subscriber and you're just watching for the first time have you subscribed mm -hmm. and have you liked this video anyway so guys today's topic is so important to me like it has been so something i've wanted to talk about but i've not been able to maybe time or something knowing your what as a woman is a topic I've been longing to speak about and we don't speak about it a lot. So today we are going to do just that. In this video, let's dive into it. Before entering into a relationship as a woman, as a lady, you need to ask yourself some certain questions. Like, what is my what? Rate yourself. Like, I don't know. What is my buy? You need to place a value on yourself. You need to ask yourself, what is my what? If you don't know your what, you tend to settle for less. And that's the truth. People will just take you for granted. People will just place their own price tag on you. Okay, this is how she is. That's how she is. That's what they will just they will just place their they will just place their price tag on you. And you can't do anything about it. Because you don't know your what. You are selling biscuit now. And you know how much the biscuit what or cost before you bought it. And you want to sell it, or maybe you bought it for five naira and you want to sell it for two naira fifty kobo. Like you are not even gaining anything, then you don't know the worth of that thing. That's just how it is. Sometimes when I see people in an abusive relationship that are not treated well or right, sometimes I just wonder, girl, what are you still doing there? Like, it's not enough for him not to take care of you. It's not enough for him not to care about you. He's still beating you. He's still treat, treating you wrongly. Abusive relationship. And you are still there. <laughs> Open your eyes. Open your ears and your brain inclusive. Why can't you just leave? What, has, what are you still doing there? Because you don't know your what. There are some people that are ready to even place a higher what on you outside there. And you are dwelling in one relationship because you feel you will not get another man. You feel you will not get someone better. Oh, you lie. There are so many good men out there. So you don't, you don't deserve to be in an abusive relationship. You don't deserve to be in a relationship that you are not even placed on an higher value. Some women will be like, they have children. That's why they are still staying there until they die. We see everything happening around the world now. Because you have children. The very day the man is, is tapping you like this, then you should know that danger is knocking. Even in your relationship, he's tapping you. You are not seeing the writing, handwriting on the wall. You, you still went ahead to pick a shwebi. You went ahead to pick a wedding date. Ha! Hey! Ha! Okay, let me give you this scenario. There's this lady. She cooks. She cleans. She even babysits the guy's sister's child. Why did the sister will go away to have fun? And the man will still cheat and abuse her. And beat her. And you are still in that relationship. Most times she says she has left. And that time we see them laughing and playing together. What are you still doing? He said, he begged me. He said, he's sorry. Every time he keeps beating you and he keeps apologizing. He keeps pouring um, um, for petrol. And you feel he's, he's, he's sober enough. The first time he's sober enough. Second time he still repeats it. And you feel he's a changed man. <laughs> Danger is ahead. Danger zone. Danger zone. I see... So many people in an abusive relationship have people that look at them themselves as they look at themselves like I deserve it because they, they, they feel like they deserve what they are going to because they don't value themselves. They don't even have a what. Because it is the value you place on yourself that, that, that others will place on you too. That's the way people will look at you. That's the value you use to filter those you will mingle with, those you will talk to, those you will associate with. It is not pride. It is the value. It is the what. This is not even pride. Okay, because you, 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 you are single and you want to get married, you are, you are in your waiting season and you feel like, oh, 
maybe I'm too proud. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's me that I have the problem. Let me just settle down for any man. Let me just go and let me just agree for this one that is right there. Let me just agree. Let me just maybe I should just say yes to him. Maybe I should just get married to this one that is available like that because you don't know your worth. It's not pride. You have to have a value. You have to place a what on yourself, a value on yourself. You have to filter those you mingle with. Filter them. This one is not meant to be seen with. These are not the people I need to move with because they will rubbish you. Everybody deserves to be loved. Whether you are a good person or a bad person, Everybody deserves to be loved. Whether you are broken or not, whether you have disability or not, everybody deserves to be loved. Without condition. Let's let's take a look at an example of our mothers. Mo a mother will love the child, irrespective of the pain they went through, even while they were betting the child, even while they gave birth to the child. When they were pregnant, everything that I saw, all the way they saw, all the stress they went through, even during the pregnancy, even during the childbirth, whether they went through CS or not, even after giving birth to the child, there's this unconditional love they still portray, they still give to the child. Everybody deserves to be loved. They won't say because, eh, while I was pregnant, ah, this child, I saw Shege while I was pregnant with this child. Ah, when I was trying to give birth to this child, these are this, the things that happened. Because of that, I'm not going to love this child. Because of that, I'm going to hate this child. No. Everybody deserves to be loved. That kind of love a mother gives to a child. Before you enter into a relationship, you need to tell yourself, tell yourself, I deserve to be loved. I deserve to be cherished. I deserve, I deserve to love others. I don't deserve to be abused. I don't deserve to be cheated on. <laughs> Your perception about love will determine what you accept, the kind of love you accept, the kind of thing, what you know love to be. What you know about love, that's what you accept. If you know love to be very abusive, very, very, very unruly, very patch patch kind of thing, that is what you accept. That's your perception. That's what you know about love. Love should be something you, you enjoy and not endure. Love should be natural. Love, well, acceptance is a choice. Acceptance is a choice. You accept whatever you want. If you want to be beaten, if you want to be cheated on, if you want to be abused, you accept it. Because you don't know your value, you don't know your worth. Love is supposed to be natural, it's supposed to be kind. It's supposed to be what we give to each other. It's supposed to not to be endured. It's supposed to be enjoyed. Ah, God. When I see happy marriages, when I see happy relationships, I'm like, yes, they exist. Like some people will say, you can't get married to a, 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 an handsome man and he won't cheat. And he's like, even if he's a Christian. And I'm still going, I'm, I, I always prove people wrong. That is what you accept. Acceptance is a choice. That's what your mentality is talking about. That's the perspective you, perspective you know. That's what you know. That's what you as, you choose to agree, you accept. That when you get married to a fine man, he's going to cheat. So you don't you want an ugly man. So you want a man that's fight lion. You know? So you want a man that is not fine because you don't want him to cheat. Wow. Where did you hear about that? Where, 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 like, where is that coming from? Huh? Some people, when it comes to relationship, they constantly have to struggle. They constantly have to cry, have to groan in pains because they are in a relationship. Why? When it comes to a relationship that you constantly cry to sleep, you, const you, you constantly feel pain, feel cheated on, feel abused. My sister, that is not love. My brother, that is not love. You deserve to be loved right. Say it after me. I deserve to be loved right. I deserve to be treated right. A relationship that you have to have sleepless night for. Baby girl, you don't deserve all of that. Baby girl, you deserve more. Don't start what you cannot finish. When you patch your relationship, you patch your marriage. You patch much more, 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 many years. You cannot even be suffering in silence. You are suffering in silence. You are having sleepless nights. You are crying to sleep because you are in a relationship. My goodness. That is not love. You deserve better. I feel like our ladies, once, once we can think, once, once we can place a word on ourselves or value, then we will not go through some of all this. True love exists. See, this is not even me painting a realistic picture of what love is to you. True love, they exist. I see them all over. And I'm grateful for people that have them. I'm grateful to lives that are enjoying true love. 
they exist. It does not mean it does not mean that your relationship will not or your marriage will not go through trials. It will not go through its own trials or temptations or or things that it needs to go through or tribulations. It makes it stronger once love is there. It's not like there's no there's no you will offend each other. But there's a place of reconciliation. Even God, whenever we offend him, we go back to the place of reconciliation just to make it up to ourselves again and to be his child and he our father again. How much more a relationship? When you're in a relationship, there should be a place of reconciliation. A place where you can meet and say, okay, we've offended ourselves, we've been apart. Okay, we want to come together. How can we sort it out? Ah, God, this is your... When God tells us, we are... Like, for all our sin and for the short of the glory of God, why is he giving us a room for mercy? There is a place of reconciliation. There is a place you will talk it through. You will talk it all out. That's what they call love. But a relationship or a marriage, that there is no place of reconciliation. That one person is being superior. Even God gives us room to, to ask for mercy. How much more a man? As long as, as much as there's a place of reconciliation, there's also a place for fights. There's a place for play. But when you struggle to enjoy love from the person who claims to love you, then that's not love. That's nonsense. You need, you need, to, you need to come to that point to know that you deserve a man's true love and attention and affection as well. You deserve a man's true love. You deserve a man's affection. You need to come to that thing. If you know your worth, you will not settle down for any other person. I was going through, I was, I think it was a short video on, online. And the lady had to cover her face to reveal what she's going through. Whenever she menstruates, she sees Margot. She said it was after sleeping with a guy. She doesn't even know the guy's name. Ha! My, my gender, we, we just tend to, we tend to useless ourselves. We tend to, to rubbish ourselves a lot. She okay. It happens that she went to a, she went into a relationship with the guy. He's a Yahoo guy, as, as she mentioned. She she doesn't even know his name. She knows his name as Kenny Confonds, all those Yahoo names, and she doesn't know his real name. She doesn't know where he is from. She will just go to his house, do the normal cooking, doing all of that, work tirelessly for the guys, even work on bed for him, give him what what. What even work on bed for him, and she doesn't know his name, she doesn't even know his people because she's enjoying the material things the guy is giving to her. She's dwelling in the abuse, he will be tired, he will do all of that. She's still dwelling in it, and the guy finally used her. My god, started coming out after she, she slept with him. My girl started coming out till now, till date. She's calling out for help. Who will help her? When you are entering into that relationship, when you are enjoying it, you don't even know your what. That's why you can just go into any, any nook and cranny, any way. She's now calling for help. Margot is coming out from her, from her vagina, from her private parts. Margot is coming out because she doesn't know her what in the first place. She doesn't even know what to do. It's only God that can deliver that kind of person. Even at that, you were cheated on. She was beaten. She was abused. And we still open our mouth to dwell in that kind of relationship. Ah, my God. Set boundaries. These are the things I can do for you. We are still unmarried. We are still dating. We are not yet married. Do you enter into a relationship? Turn yourself to a slave for the guy. I don't see it like that. And if, if the guy truly loves you, he won't turn you to a slave. To call you every Saturday, come and wash my clothes, come and cook for me. I feel like you should be here. You should be here on Saturday. It is Saturday, you should be here. Come and why, why are you not here to cook for me? Why are you not here to wash for me? Set boundaries. It's not pride. It's not that um, you won't be a good wife. No, that's not how to test a good wife. If he's, if he's a good man, he will know the qualities. He will know how to test a good wife. If, if, he's, um, if he's that, the, the very the first day he, he, he slaps you. That's the end of the relationship. That's the, that's the kind of um, um, boundaries you cannot endure. You walk out of that relationship. That's the boundary you set for yourself. If he's raising his hand, then I'm walking out. If he's doing this, then I'm walking out. It's not pride. It's knowing your standard, knowing your worth, knowing your value. He should say his own, um, set his own boundaries, set your own boundaries. You come in alignment, say it, 
let yourself know your boundaries let yourself know what you what you what you you can take and what you cannot take if i put it into a writing into a journal so that the very day one person is is um is breaching the contract or is is is, is the control um compromising or or or, or, con or doing otherwise then you can bring out the journal and say this is it this is this is what i wrote out this is what you wrote down this is what i wrote down you have this is it it's happening the first time second time then you walk out it's not by force acceptance is a choice you accept what you what you want what you can take nobody is forcing you to accept it it's a choice i know somebody that will, that has a journal my husband is going to take care of me my husband is going to take care of my children he's going to love me he's going to love my children he's going to do all of this into a journal that's what she wants she's not even married though that's what she wants in her marriage that's what she wants in her relationship and it will happen you even pray about it hold the journal and pray with it because this is this is not somebody you are just spending a day with it's somebody you want to choose to spend the rest of your life with is a father you are even choosing for your children is a wife you are choosing for your children a mother rather you are choosing for your children don't let people just give you a price tag that oh to buy phone anything oh once you just give her anything she will she will do it once i just give send to k to her account now she will help me to wash this place she went to wash this clothes she went me to why am i talking i'm not saying it's bad i don't know your perspective about that why am i using that one as them once once i just give her money now she will sleep with me oh she would throw herself on my bed that means you don't have a word you don't even have they can predict you they can predict that oh, once i give her this she will take it and she will do this for me so i have come to the end of this video i hope with all my blah 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 you got the value of your data and your time i hope i have been able to pass some important messages set your standard that you cannot compromise you are a female you are a male set your standard as a male this is the kind of woman you want you can't go for this kind of woman a woman that is not knowledgeable a woman you cannot ask that what advice will you give to me a woman that you cannot ask that okay i want to do this how can you help me with it a woman that cannot say okay let's pray about it a woman that cannot say okay i'll be praying for you you will get the job a woman that cannot assure you i stand for you even in the prayer room then you have to set your standard you have to know your worth. you have to know your value you know what you want don't just accept accept anything no and so thank you guys for staying to the end thank you for enjoying this video because i enjoyed filming it so subscribe if you have not subscribed and like like this video give it a thumbs up share with your friends share with people out there a lot of people are enjoying relationship marriages and they don't even know what to do about it that's why i'm doing this video share it on your whatsapp status share it on your facebook share it on all your social media platforms let people know what it means to set boundaries what it means to know their worth and value and i will see you guys in my next one drop your comment below if you have any other things to add to this video to the, what i've said or if you have a scenario you can you are sharing you are not sharing with me alone you are sharing with other people that will be reading the content so please i want you to share with me i want you to comment i want us to interact more Thank you guys for staying tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.